Hello everyone, this is Vlogmas and I'm just going to do my makeup, just getting ready for some extra filming because I do have a little unboxing for you. Well, maybe it's quite a big unboxing because I did do quite a big haul from Chanel. And I'm just going to start off with my BB cushion and here I'm using the Lemuse BB cushion and this one I got from Glam Touch. They gifted this to me and they said that this was a dupe for the Laneige BB cushion so I do have both and they're both in this like nice minty blue colour. This one kind of looks like that Tiffany's. One of you commented below that this really looks like Tiffany's and I do agree with you. So this one, I would say that this is more of a satiny finish rather than um, I think the Laneige one is a little bit more matte. That one you don't really need to set with any powder but I think this one you might need to do a little bit. Still a very very close dupe. So if the Laneige one runs out, Le Mousse is like another one that you can go for. So I did come back from Norway not too long ago and it was a really nice romantic trip. It was actually something that I've always wanted to do to visit the Northern Lights and it's just so pretty like at first I was so underwhelmed because I wasn't expecting it in the way that I saw it. It does initially look a bit more white than usual rather than the crazy greeny reds and yellows but then when it did go into the full-blown northern lights then we got really lucky in terms of how much light came out so that was really really magical and I've always wanted to go with someone that I've always really loved and shout out to my boyfriend Errol it was a really amazing trip to go on. So you can see how it's more of that satin finish, which is really nice. So then I'm going to take a little bit of this powder and this one's from Innisfree. This one's the No Sebum Powder. I just only need a tiny, tiny bit just to get rid of that crazy shine um, because it is a lot shinier than the Laneige one. And I'm just going to take a powder brush and I usually just swirl it around in here. And that's usually enough. And then I'm going to go in with this tweed palette. This is the tweed palettes from Chanel and it's just really cute. Like, I really love the little sleeve and I always keep it in the little sleeve because it's so cute. This one is in number one tweed cuivre and it's more of this golden warm tone palette and I really love the embossing in here because it just looks like tweed and it's very very intricate it's so detailed so whoever printed this and designed it it's just so detailed it literally looks like little threads in every one of them I mean I have used this already so it's already been a bit dipped into so I'm going to take this medium shade and I'm going to apply this on like the outer corner just to set the base and because these are so pigmented I'm only going to go in with a light hand because I don't like to have really heavy makeup and usually Chanel palettes they're very very light just to give that nice gentle look because like with Parisian makeup, they're always very, very subtle and very natural looking. But for some reason, these palettes, although they're not like the MAC palettes where they're really intense pigments, these are actually more pigmented than the usual Chanel palette. And usually with their palettes, I'm not always a huge fan of them because sometimes it can be a little hit and miss depending on the formulation, but these ones are really, really creamy and it's just so smooth. So I think they have improved their formulation over time. And I think this might actually end up becoming more of a staple formulation. And then I'm going to deepen it a little bit more with this darker shade. And I'm gonna put this just on the outer corner, just a little dab and just a little bit on the outer corner. So before I use the beautiful topper shade, I am going to go in with my highlighter and this one's from M Cosmetics. This one's the Sunscape Highlighter in Clarity and it's just this beautiful champagne gold and it's got that beautiful sheen to it. It's not glittery, it's just very, very glowy and I'm going to apply this onto the center of my lids, mostly in the inner corner, just to add that nice pop. I just like to add this pop because I just want to look more awake and just a bit more open eyed. And then I'm going to take this same one and apply it on the lower lash line. 
just to brighten the eyes. And then I'm going to take this topper shade, which is this really beautiful gold shimmer. So it's just mostly these gold flexes in there. Now I'm going to apply this onto the center of my lids. Look at this pop. It's just so beautiful and I think I'm going to take a little bit more onto the center of my lower lash line and then I'm going to take this darker shade and I'm going to line my eyes starting with the outer corner. So I've always wanted to go to Norway Tromso with a loved one and funnily enough I have had an ex-boyfriend say to me that he wanted the same thing as well but actually he ended up going with some other person and she is actually one of my gorgeous gorgeous friends i love hers to bits but it was very unexpected and it's very easy just to add an extra flight or an extra ticket within the plan but his only excuse was he doesn't want to make them feel awkward or what feel like a third wheel but I'm sure there's plenty of other people and she didn't mind if I joined along because we are friends after all. My ex-boyfriend was very adamant that I didn't go with him and it's very silly of him but I'm glad that I didn't go with him because I think I would have had a more stressful time because it is not easy going on holiday with someone who just doesn't take action and he really doesn't plan anything and for a lot of the trips he always relied on me to book everything so it's just very very stressful going on holiday with him sometimes so I'm glad that those times are over that was a big red flag because he doesn't keep his promises even though it's something small, but it is a sign overall. That is something that I could not do with for the rest of my life. I think right now I'm in a very, very happy place and I'm very blessed with my boyfriend Errol. And we're just both on the same page with a lot of things and it's just really nice because it's just one less thing to worry about when I go home. I don't need to worry so much about opinions. I don't need to worry about having or being a certain way it's all very free so it's all very nice and then I'm going to just go in with my eyelash curler and then I'm going in with mascara this one is the Dior show iconic over curl and I always get in waterproof because it just holds the curl a lot better and whilst that's drying I'm gonna go in for my eyebrows And then line my waterline this one's from Etude House and it's the proof 10 gel pencil liner and then I'm gonna line with liquid liner just to give that extra pop and then I've got this like glitter from Etude House this is the mirror holic and it's just this extra sparkle I have a few from Black Rouge but they're more pinky colours but this one is more of that champagne gold. I just want to apply this to give that extra teary eyed look. I'm really loving the teary eyed look because it feels more festive. And then I'm going to go in with a blush and this one is in Heaven's Glow Magic Hour from M Cosmetics. It's just more of that peachy glow. And it's more like a blush lighter but it's very subtle it's more on the neutral side for me and i am a huge blush lover so i like to apply a lot and then just to give an extra bit more glow i'm gonna go back in with the sunscape highlighter i'm gonna give that extra brush on top just to highlight the cheek blue and then a little bit on the nose bridge cupid's bow chin And then I'm going to put a little bit on my brow bone, which is very glowy all over. I think for lip colour, I'm going to go in with this one from Roman, and it's the Dewy Full Water Tint, and I got the colour in 05. This one is more of that nice tint, and... This colour is just more of that nice bright pink 
color but it's very glossy at the same time so that is my makeup look it's very simple but I like the Christmas golden glow and to be honest my makeup doesn't really change that much even though I do use different products but my overall look is pretty similar but it's my go-to and my comfort zone and this is what makes me feel the most confident and just to finish everything off i'm going to use a fixing spray and this one's from nyx this one's recommended to me by my old flatmate and i love her tidbits it's very huge and very affordable and it just fixes everything just really well just nice light layer and then I am good to go. Okay so I got a lot of things from Chanel and this came in this beautiful white bag and all of them are gift wrapped so beautifully and I'll show you why I did get it gift wrapped because every Christmas they always have such beautiful packaging and I just couldn't resist. So let's start off with the first one and the first bag we have it's got this detail on it it's got the CC with a little moon on there and then on the other side it says Chanel and it's got this red gold ribbon on it and what comes this year with their Christmas packaging are these little charms and it's really really cute and there was a few that you can choose from there's the moon like this one there's a star and there's a Chanel perfume and I got several of them because I can actually think of turning them into really cute earrings or just some like nice pendants as well because these are metal and it's really really cute so let's just open her up charms just come like this and it's just really stunning and then on the back it's got the CC logos and it comes with this extra miniature size CC logo on this and then inside this one I got the holiday collection because at first I really wasn't going to get anything from the holiday collection from Chanel because I did get quite a few things from Dior and those I absolutely love and I hope the giveaway winner really enjoys hers and then I said to myself if I see the Chanel collection by eye then I am going to get it if I love it that much so then seeing as I did see it by eye I fell in love with it so quickly and the first thing that I got really caught my eye and it's huge. So it came wrapped in this CC logo tissue paper and then just open it up. So this one is the Eclat Lumiere and this one is the oversized illuminating face powder and I got it in all rose which is rose gold and it's limited edition and look at this packaging like you can see the moon printed on there and then the Chanel perfume is all embossed and then if we open her up this is huge like if you look at the size of my hand or the size of my head this is a huge palette and I really love how the holiday collection always has the gold CC logo compared to the regular white one and this one is 16 grams Whereas the normal highlighters are a lot less. And if you open it, it's just this beautiful palette. I'm going to gently try and swatch this for you. Trying not to ruin all of the design. So it is a very golden deep shade. And I'm not sure whether this will work so well on my face. But I reckon it will be a nice blush lighter and because it's so big it will look amazing on like maybe the decollete and even on your shoulders will be really pretty so let's just try a little bit on here it's very luminous it does have that rosy gold glow to it and it's very very pretty so it's not my usual because I'm more into champagne golds but this one is a very luxurious item and if you're a collector of Chanel you should definitely get this one I did try the gold one in store but it did seem a little bit dark on me and this rose gold one is a little bit more lighter so if you have a bit more paler skin like very very pale skin then this might not be suitable for you but if you have more medium toned skin then this would be really good but I think for deeper skin tones then the gold version would be better than the rose gold. I'm not sure what the significance of the moon is 
but I know that the Chanel perfume is always a very big icon and not too long ago, I think it was last year, they did celebrate their 100 years but I feel like this year with these palettes it's so much more of a bigger celebration. I would recommend getting this one more. Although it's not travel friendly, I think this makes such a luxury statement. It's definitely a luxurious item to own and it's just something that will look amazing on the vanity. Sticking to the theme of Chanel Holiday 2022, I did get the eyeshadow palette and this one is the Le Quatre Ombre. This is the multi-effect quadra eyeshadows and the colour is in 937 Ombre de Lune. It's limited edition as well and they also have the same moon pattern with the Chanel perfume at the front embossed. And then here we have the little pouch that it comes in and then again we have the gold CC logo on there. So also for the size comparison of this highlighter and the eyeshadow, it's a very very big difference in size. This one is in two grams so not a lot compared to the 16 grams in here but I think when you pair these together and you always see the beautiful Chanel packaging online with those flat lays and it's just really really pretty. I think this will look amazing on the vanity table. And then inside we have the beautiful eyeshadows. So it's more of that brown golden look. I would say that is this quite similar to the Tweed palette? I would think it's similar to the number one Tweed Cuivre and this one is more of that golden shade that I just used earlier. So here we have the two palettes. I would say that the Tweed palette has a little bit more of that brown chocolatey colour whereas I think the Christmas palette has more of this red undertone. Very fall themed I think and I think the gold topper shade it's a bit more of that foiled look rather than that shimmery look that you would get in the tweed palette. So both very beautiful palettes and I really like how the shades in here are very very neutral. Very very pretty but also when you wear it for the holiday season Perfect. It'll be amazing with the golden glow in there. So I'm excited to use these two over the holidays and, and if you have these palettes then please do let me know how you've been using it and whether you've been enjoying it or whether you're thinking about getting it. I would love to hear. And then I've got some freebies and this one is the Mascara Noir Allure. And then onto my next box. This one's slightly different. This one is a CC logo here but this has got more of this paper um, dry texture whereas this one is more glossy. And then on the other side you also have the Chanel logo. And here we have the nice ribbon again but this time I have the Chanel number no. 5 bottle here. So here's a closer look at the charm. It's very cute. Both sides say Chanel on there and they have the same little button CC logo on there. So inside here we have quite a few samples as well. So I've got quite a few of the Coco Mademoiselle and then I've got another Chanel mascara and here I have some more makeup. This one is a foundation and it's from the Le Beige range and this one's the Water Fresh Complexion Touch and I got the shade in B20. It comes in 20 mils and this one was something that I was really intrigued by because I'm really into the light makeup feel because I don't like to wear anything that's too heavy. Inside we have the foundation. It's got all of these bubbly grains in there. I know some of it might gross people out but I thought it was pretty cool. That is all very encapsulated. And when I tried this on in store and the and my essay just put it onto my face. She tried it on a, my neck area so it was like a really light watery feel and it does take a little bit of time to dry off but this one is a really nice light one that I can use and especially during the summer this would work really nicely as a lightweight foundation. And the brush here, this tiny tiny brush, so soft to the touch. And then at the end we also have the CC logo so this one is a really nice brush and to get this as a part of the set it's just a really nice combo to have. Also makes a very good gift if you know their foundation shade. Then another item from the holiday collection 
I got a nail color and this one is a top coat and it's a shimmery one and this one is in the shade Etoile for star and if we open it up it also has that gold detailing at the front and then this is the shade which is absolutely gorgeous it's more of this really shimmery gold but it also has flexes of bronze in here and I'm really excited to use this because because I'm usually never really one to wear nail polish although if you met me in high school then I would have worn it every week and changed it and I was a huge nail fanatic but then I think over time there was just a huge massive year maybe like 10 years or so where I just couldn't I couldn't tolerate it and I just gave up on it and when I do wear nail colors I'm very like just very basic I either wear just shimmers or just basic pinks this one I'm adding to my collection because it's so pretty and I love how festive but also it will match with a lot of things in my wardrobe then i got a lip color this one is the rouge allure lac and this one isn't part of the christmas collection but i do love the packaging it's very gold very classic looking and this one is in the color reminisce so it's supposed to be one where it doesn't budge and the color is supposed to affix onto your lips so it doesn't transfer onto anything and when you open it up it's a very simple look very black and then you can see the color of it at the bottom and then at the top you have the gold cc logo on there and if you open it it's got this doe foot applicator it's got this more pinky red tone which is something that i really like to wear on to the next bag this one has the star charm i have some skincare samples in here and here i got the sublimage gel to oil cleanser and here i just picked up the regular things that i use and especially for skincare i really love the chanel cleansing lines because they're very gentle and they remove your makeup really easily and this one is no exception and le mousse is something that i've been using for quite some time it's more of that creamy texture but then it lathers up into a nice gentle foam it's a very luxurious thick foam i love it because you only need a little bit so this bottle will last you for a long time and I am already using one and it's in my bathroom already and the packaging for this is just huge and very luxurious because it's very weighty and very thick and it's 150 ml and I love how the cap is so thick and sturdy so you can stand this up in your bathroom but this will last you so long because you don't need a lot and it's a huge bottle and then in this bag we also have the same star charm and in here is another cleansing item from Chanel and it's called Louis which is oil and it's a cleansing oil where you massage your makeup and it dissolves everything away and then when you apply water it should emulsify it and then remove all of your makeup so here we have the beautiful bottle very classic looking and with the CC logo on there and it's just a really nice classic bottle to have so I could possibly reuse this bottle because I have a lot of jumbo size cleansing oils but I think this bottle is the prettiest so I might refill it and then I got so many number one the Chanel samples so I got their creams their serums their eye creams and they all come in this beautiful camellia flower because the number one the Chanel is very camellia flower based skincare line and they were trying to take a more natural approach to skincare with this so excited to try this I have tried the serum and the cream in like another miniature size before and I'm excited to take these with me on travel because they are really really good another thing that I got was this beautiful card it's got number five on there it's got Chanel on there too it's really cute so it's got this like gold shimmer on there and then inside it says give one day give chanel it says like wish list on here very very cute i thought this was a nice touch because i bought so much i got a charm for every single item i bought and it's so cute that chanel has these really cute charms that you can get with your purchases and convert them into earrings because that would be really cute yeah, so that's the end of this vlog and I hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for more Vlogmas because there will be a giveaway in one soon. Across the door, neighbors singing tales of yore, it's so close, hardly can wait, waking up on Christmas.